thank you for that welcome. What we would like to do uh, to entertain you tonight, as obviously relevant to the prologue you've just heard, is yet another manifestation of this very large project, very large and ambitious project we've now been working on for three years called the Tulsa Loop of Suitcases. Um, I'm supposed to have a reputation as a European filmmaker. I think it's self-evident, certainly in what the last 20 years, that the nature of uh, cinema, or what I particularly practice, which I suppose is called the European art movie, is uh, very rapidly changing. It's changing politically, it's changing socially, and for my great interest, it's changing its language, it's changing aesthetically. We, we've developed a system with turntables, laptops, software, sound, and image that we think is probably the most powerful real-time audiovisual instrument that exists today. And like any instrument, we have to learn to play this instrument now. To apply DJ technique to cinema means that now DJ culture has absorbed many of the ideas of cinema. The idea of the cut, the mix, taking different scenes, editing, you know. And I just don't think there are any more interesting filmmakers. All the interesting filmmakers are doing something else now. They'll either be working on video or web mastering or becoming into a sort of post-computer digital generation. Well, technically, we do the show uh, by one of us DJing at any one time and the other two adding video with audio over the top of that. And that could take the form of you know, a guitar solo or mainly we use vocal parts from tunes, match them up to the videos and then mix them like a DJ mixes records. So the idea of having some literal real life phenomenon, so it's not just an abstract distant uh, electronic phenomenon which you can't touch, you can't smell, you can't hold, is always the same in some curious way. So I think music and memory and feeling are closely connected. There's also, I suppose, there's that human side and then there's the sort of <coughs> affair that uh, humans and machines are having at the moment. So technology is transforming life as well. So partly this is a conversation between humans and technology. The technology becomes more intelligent. Um, so exploring that, developing that new language is also part of what we're doing. So I'm looking for all sorts of different ways to be able to manifest what I would call, I suppose, non-narrative present tense cinema. And one of those ways, I suppose, almost offering itself is the whole notion of VJ, where the energies are not supplied by text, but are supplied by music. In a way, it's a certain sort of slavery again, but there is a way in which I think the disassociations are much freer. You don't have to concern yourselves with closures, beginnings, and middles, and ends. And there is a great sort of vibrancy which is related to full physicality. In terms of like pirating an album, copying someone's like Britney Spears album track for track, yeah, sure, it's illegal. In terms of remixing it, uh, it's illegal, but lawyers won't go after it. It's too much trouble. It's, you know, it's not worth it. There's not enough money in it. Record labels are better off letting creativity exist rather than attacking it. Oh, 
The remix is an inheritor of a lot of art issues. If you look at the history of collage, if you look at the history of the found object with Marcel Duchamp, or if you look at what Andy Warhol was doing with appropriating images, now that's become part of the basic idea of youth culture. So the art of the 20th century now becomes the imagination of the 21st.